What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to talk about Scream 7 in this video here today. So we're going to be talking about the tentative filming plans of when Scream 7 is likely going to shoot according to someone very close to Nev Campbell. And before I go any further, I do want to shout out you Billy Moore for leaving this comment on my channel earlier today. Thank you very much. I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible because it's not anything really groundbreaking anything that really needs to have too much explaining behind it but according to sean clark who we've talked about in the past multiple times on this channel sean clark has proven himself to be very reliable when it comes to all things nev campbell considering his role in her life and her day-to-day -day activities as an actress in hollywood and these conventions that she goes to and all the stuff transpiring from her fallout of abandoning not abandoning but deciding not to do scream six because of a pay dispute which has all been corrected going into scream seven now that we know that sydney prescott is back yada 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 however according to this screenshot over on sean clark's youtube channel we have an idea of when scream seven will be filming now this i would say is the most reliable bit of information we are going to have so far since sean is very close to again nev campbell so billy you left a comment saying apparently sean nev campbell canceled galaxy con that was scheduled for July, but yet some of the convention sites like we, like RosterCon hasn't gotten the hint. Apparently Scream 7 will be filming this summer and she won't make it to July's event. Sean responded saying, actually she had to cancel for another reason, but Scream 7 will be tentatively filming in September and October. Now I told you guys I had been hearing that Scream 7 will be filming in the summer. I had heard late May, first week of June is what they were eyeing didn't say anything about it being confirmed that's just what i was hearing sean on the other hand is someone who of course would be far more in the know working hand in hand with nev campbell he is saying that this film scream 7 will be tentatively filming in september and october which correlates to another comment that was made by sean clark in his stream recognizing that scream 7 according to nev campbell at the time she was thinking that the project was going to shoot in the fall now the way he had delivered it it didn't come off as anything nev was confident in just her making an educated guess now here this is sounding way more confident and again with him working hand in hand with nev campbell this is something i think we should take a little bit more serious something we should pay attention to something we should just have in the back of our heads as it pertains to all things related to scream 7 and whenever they will start filming He's saying September and October is when this film tentatively will be looking to shoot. So that lines up with the fall comments that he made in the past. According to that last comment that came from Nev Campbell herself, who at the, at the time, again, from his delivery alone, didn't sound like anything confident, sounded mostly like a, like a prediction. This, on the other hand, sounds like something that she has heard, assuming he has also heard this from Nev herself, and she's communicated with Sean that September and October are the tentative filming plans now yes i know some people are going to be like well why did she even announce her involvement if they're not going to start filming until the fall honestly honestly let's not try to overly complicate it we know why they did it it's all for the sake of pr damage control make the project look like it's not in shambles which right now it's not it was in shambles or it appeared to be from the outside looking in with you losing melissa barrera losing jenna ortega losing the other two of the core four and then losing james vanderbilt losing christopher landon who many people were excited to see him direct losing radio silence who i think has been still credited as executive producer they've come out and stated that's nothing more than a vanity credit alone and they seemingly have nothing to do with this project all of which was stemming from spyglass just being in a rush to get scream 7 done and then the strikes happened then we ended up losing Melissa, losing the story that was coming that would have been split allegedly between her and Sydney. Nev is back. Kevin Williamson is directing. Some people are already on board with it completely, while others like myself are going to remain on the fence until proven otherwise. I really hasn't been given me. There hasn't been a reason given to not be on the fence about this project. Sydney Prescott, and Nev Campbell, I trust will be in good hands. I hope. But without knowing what the story is yet. I can't really say that I am the most excited for this project. I have the alleged details that have been shared with me, but again, that's not confirmed. We could be leaning into the angel of death stuff a little bit better. But like I said in the last video, 
the way Scream 4 brings up the Angel of Death commentary and then kind of drops that, lets it fall to the wayside. Exploring that in Scream 7 in a town in which she's not the most favorable and she allegedly has a neighbor who cannot stand her, a Karen type of neighbor. She has a close friend who again is allegedly going to be or rumored to be played by Carrie Russell if she nabs the role. All of that sounds like something that could be a worthwhile story to explore for Sidney Prescott, but it's not confirmed yet. So until it's confirmed, I will still remain on the fence. I hope that that story is what we're going to get. And I hope that Scream 7 ends up being a movie that is of quality and not something that is a slap in the face to the entire franchise, because it would be quite a shame for me to have to come on here and give the first negative review I've ever had to give for a Scream film with the existence of my YouTube channel anyway. But you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to Scream 7 shooting this fall? Who do you want to star in the film? For those of you who want people to sign on, I know several of you, again, do not want anyone working on this project. I get it. For those of you who want people to sign on, who do you want to star in the film? Who do you not want to see star in the film? What people or characters do you want to see return? Such as Dewey Riley, for instance, because there's always a chance for David Arquette to return. And before anyone jumps the gun and stops thinking out of the box, this is a movie. Yes, we understand that Dewey is dead. David Arquette can still return as Dewey Riley. Did Skeet Ulrich not just return as Billy Loomis? Okay, I rest my case. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can name this video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.